School's back in session, and it's time for kids to get back into those science, technology, engineering, and math programs. The National Society of Black Engineers is hosting an interactive workshop this morning. YNN's Jess Mitchell is there. Jess, those kids are up pretty early on a Sunday. What's this program all about? <laughs> Jennifer, they're expecting 200 kids to come to this program all day. It's here at Applied Materials, which is off of uh, Highway 290. And I have Yolanda here with me. She brought her kids, and uh, Justice is not hers, but she's also joining us this morning. And uh, they're going to help us. They're going to show us a little experiment. So, uh, Yolanda, why don't you teach us? We are doing the elephant toothpaste experiment today, and what we use is um, hydrogen peroxide. This is actually a hair care product and it's a little <laughs> it's a little stronger than what you would get at Walmart or any drugstore and what we're going to do is kids what is our formula for hydrogen peroxide H2O2 H2O2 so what we're going to do is we're going to use yeast as a catalyst to release the oxygen bubbles so we're going to take a cup of hydrogen peroxide we're going to take a couple of squirts of Dawn dish detergent this is just going to help to release our bubbles a little bit. Okay. We're going to switch that around a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of food coloring just to make it look cool. Yeah, you got to make it look cool. Got to make it look cool. And then Justice is going to pour our yeast mixture in, and that's going to release our bubbles for us. Okay. Ew. And you see it start to foam up. Yeah. You wait, you wait. Wow, that is cool, and that is an experiment in, uh, you know, our live segment time. Would you look at that? <laughs> Not hard to keep these kids entertained today, and we're going to be doing experiments all, all day, just like this. So it should be pretty fun. <laughs> They're actually auctioning off two laptops too, which is also pretty cool. <laughs> Jennifer, sounds like there's a mini explosion going on there behind you, Jess. Thanks for showing us that experiment. Yeah. School's back in session, and it's time for kids to get back into those science, technology, engineering, and math programs. The National, the National Society of Black Engineers is hosting an interactive workshop this morning, and YNN's Jess Mitchell is there with some adorable kids doing some cool experiments. What's this program all about, Jess? Jennifer, we're learning all about the different types of professions you can have in science, technology, math, and engineering. You don't just have to be manufacturing parts that go into computers. It's a wide range, a wide variety of jobs you can have. And I'm standing here with uh, a character artist, uh, Gray. And um, so you basically do the do the characters that appear on video games. Right. Yeah, I make the characters for the games. Um, here's a few examples right here. This is a a character that was in uh, one of the Ratchet and Clank games Insom Insomniac made. This is another character that was in Ratchet and Clank, so. <laughs> we have our, our crew of kids back here <clears throat> checking out everything we're doing this morning. So what goes into uh, creating these uh, characters? Well, we're going to start out with some concept art that the, the concept artist would make. And then um, in, in the case of a... Uh, uh, character model. They're a polygon mesh that's 3D, so it's kind of like a sculpture that's made on the computer. And then um, for games today, we'll also make uh, a really detailed mesh and then uh, transfer that mesh onto our, our low detail uh, model, which is going to run in the game. Um, transfer that detail on through the textures uh, that make the shadows and also produce make it look like yeah. it has more detail and, and volume. And, and with the technology and the capabilities we have today, there I mean, these these characters can be so lifelike, and uh, I think that's why kids and adults love video games so much. That's just one of the many things that we're going to be checking out here all day. We're at Applied Materials uh, for the 2012 Fall fr uh, Fresh Start. Jennifer? Thanks, Jess. School's back in session, and it's time for kids, kids to get back into those science, technology, engineering, and math programs. The National Society of Black Engineers is hosting an interactive workshop this morning. YNN's Jess Mitchell is there with the kids, and it sounds like the crowd is building. Jess, what's this program all about? Jennifer, the crowd is building. They're expecting 200 kids here today. We'll be all day here uh, at this workshop. It's at Applied Materials, and that's a semiconductor manufacturer. 
And um, I would like you to tell us what you do here. So you work for uh, Applied Materials. I do, I do. I am the uh, senior manager for uh, materials, so I negotiate contracts for Applied with the suppliers. And why is it important? I mean, many campuses in town, Samsung also has, you know, events like this to get kids. I mean, it's kind of building the workforce, right? Yeah, it's building the workforce. It's building the future, um, especially during the season that we're in right now. You hear a whole lot about education, the importance of education. Well, Applied Materials definitely embraces that and wants to do our part. And at what point did you know that you wanted to come into, like, the tech industry? Oh, wow. High school, <laughs> probably about the same time these kids. Uh, uh, I'm an engineer at heart. I uh, love to break things and see how they work. Uh, it was like that back in high school, and I think that's where it was sparked. Yeah. And uh, we were talking a little bit early, uh, earlier about civil engineers and how important it is for kids to also realize that we need to build stuff out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, absolutely. Civil engineering, um, that's, that's one of the great things about partnering with uh, NESB right now. We're going to cover civil engineering, electrical engineering, touch a little bit on mechanical engineering, um, just give the kids all different flavors of the engineering discipline. Great. Well, they seem so enthusiastic. Thank you so much for joining us here. Um, and they're just ready to go this morning. There's going to be a variety of different workshops and events for them to, you know, participate in experiments. And actually, they're auctioning off or raffling off two laptops. So a couple of kids here today will get two laptops to go home with, which is pretty cool. Jennifer? Very cool. Very lucky kids they'll be indeed. Thanks, Jess. School's back in session, and that means it's time to start up on those STEM programs. Middle and high school students learned about science, technology, engineering, and math Sunday. One eager scientist spoke to YNN's Jess Mitchell at the 2012 Fall Fresh Start. Guess what? The first computers actually did have all, the, all of it together. Inside this stark room on the Applied Materials campus... Gregory Harrington groomed our future problem solvers and scientists. You got that. Oh, that's genius. These geniuses may choose a science, tech, engineering, or math job after attending Fresh Start. Jasmine Pugh plans on it. Either an entomologist or a marine biologist. This is her second year attending the all-day workshop. The National Society of Black Engineers has hosted it for more than two decades. He's just talking about different parts of computers and the redundancy of hard drives. So if one fails, then another can take over. And then we learned how networks work. So he was talking about cables and how the hard drive or the modem, the wireless router is connected to the server, and then the server is connected to the internet, and then that's how you send emails. A comprehensive breakdown of how STEM skills apply to everyday jobs. What we want to do is foster that skill set right now so that they can have a, a huge array of career goals later on. Most STEM workshops focus on tech jobs, but Fresh Start also included a civil engineering lesson. We basically leverage marshmallows and toothpicks to teach them how to build a structure. They present it in a fresh, new, engaging way. I think kids are more interested in technology now than they were before. That's the goal. Organizers say they hope to hook these kids early so they'll be eager to work in STEM fields later on. In Northeast Austin, Jess Mitchell, YNN.